two seconds earlier. We've basically just got a matter of now converting all of this um, wood and plastic into metal. Three weeks later. Here we are. Hey! You ever have a song stuck in your head? It's like the worst song ever, but you can't help but whistle it or sing it. It's like repeats itself, repeats itself, repeats itself, repeats itself, repeats itself, repeats itself. Kick and counter, 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 kick and counter. What the f? No, you're freaking out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Easy fix. Puzzle code in my head. Now it's on the walls. Everything is good. Hey. So guess what? It's finally finished. After years of stuff at around, I've finally got the manifold finished on this thing, and it's ready to install on the car. Apart from the intake. But if all you care about is seeing this thing on the car, then I'll throw a timestamp up and then you can skip forward and see that. But if you've got a bit of time, I want you to come with me on a journey. Come on. So if you've been watching for a while, you probably want to know what the hell's going on. In the last video, we were putting this thing on the car and that was going to be the plan. Um, that night after filming that video, I jumped on the computer and I started drawing up all the plates for this thing to cut it all out and weld it all together. And... I came to the realization that it really just kills me inside to have to put such an ugly piece of shit on my race car. <laughs> um, and it basically just made me start spiraling out of control, figuring how I'm going to you know, fix that because I just don't want this big, ugly, rectangular box thing on there. Um, how do I make it look nicer? So I had another idea. What if I just go out and I buy a massive piece of billet aluminium and machine this whole thing out of one piece? That way... I can basically just contour it and shape it so it's not so rectangular and ugly. And basically, yeah, just have one nice elaborate manifold all machined out of one bit. And that might have been all right until I sat down, did a few calculations and worked out that was going to be well over $1,000 to buy the material alone just to do that. So I thought to myself, hmm, yeah, nah, definitely not doing that. So after coming to that realisation, I was feeling pretty deflated. So I figured it was getting late, time to go to bed. So I jumped in the shower and I started washing my hair and then I stopped and I had the epiphany. The problem with this supercharger is that the outlet flanges for it are right on the either side of the blower. They're way away. And I've got to make those sweep down somehow into the centre to bolt onto the stock lower intake manifold and the one you said. I didn't want to make it bolt directly onto the heads because I want to have this thing protruding all the way out of the bonnet because I like the look and would just make it super duper tall and the plenum volume would be massive. So what happens if you get another stock lower intake manifold and then you swing it upside down? All of a sudden you take those ports from being in the center again and you sweep them back out to the outside. I thought, ah, surely it can't be that easy. So I finished washing my hair, got dressed, went to bed, Stared at the ceiling for about another half an hour after that. Then it got the better of me. So I just got back up, went out to the shed, grabbed one of the spare stock lower intake manifolds that I had kicking around. I have four for some reason. But I went straight back out to the car, threw it on there upside down, and I shit you not, I measured the flanges, and they were within two millimeters of each other in width. And I thought, well, I'll be dipped. So I woke up the next day with a plan. I need to somehow make that flange that's supposed to go onto the heads on a 1UZ that's at 20 degrees somehow meet up with the supercharger outlet flanges on the North Star supercharger. And I came up with this log manifold thing. And um, it was good for a proof of concept. Is once again an ugly rectangular box, but um, it did react really well. I'll throw some photos up of that. Yeah, so you can see it's pretty unreal how that works out. So um, once I had the proof of concept down for that, I decided that it's time to go draw these things up so they look a little bit better and then take it to the CNC shop and get them to do it. And this is what we've come up with. So check this out. How good does that look? You know, like it's basically just those two pieces that taper up and then they um, go up to the flanges here. So it's exactly like I was saying before, if we can flip this thing over, that is the right orientation for that to sit on the one user. So essentially this is flipping over and then exactly the same thing being bolted to it. Just picks up exactly where all of the um, bolts that would go into the head. I just need to go through and um, blank off these. I'm thinking I'm just going to try and throw a Welsh plug in there or something like that to seal them up. Um, but then that'll be sweet. But uh, I am just super stoked with how that's turned out. Um, I don't know about you, but I think that looks cool as hell. So now the part you've all been waiting for. Let's go throw this thing on the car and check out how it looks. So here we've got the manifold on the car. As you can see, 
fits on there super nice. Bit of a gap below there. Yeah, my lower manifold's dirty, but it's coming off soon. But um, yeah, heaps of room either side. Now let's throw the blower on and bam, would you check that out? How good does that look? So belts on and lines up nicely. Yeah, it's an eight rib pulley on here with six bell rib belts, but um, no, it'll work. Um, I did the same thing on the M90 setup. So I'm absolutely stoked with that. I don't know about you, but I don't think that um, I could have designed anything else with that massive box to make this thing look better. So um, yeah, that's that little how I look at the other side. Yeah, so this is the other side, and there's that section of the blower casing there that I um, machined away and then filled back in uh, with our intake flange in the back there. I mean, there's not a lot of room there, but there should be enough for us to put a tight radius three and a half inch um, aluminium bend on here and sweep it up. And the goal is to have it right about here where it was with the um, M90 setup. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably upgrade to um, like a 92 mil LS throttle body, um, just cause it's pretty popular, easy to get throttle body. And um, I've already got it set up for similar sensors on the L67 uh, throttle body that I currently use. But yeah, that's, that's sick. So um, once we've got that done, which need to yeah, make that intake, make a little flange here so we can have our um, lines go to the water to air intercooler built in it. And they'll manage to go back down to that tank there. Um, yeah, that'll be sick. Yeah, so pretty much that's the hardest part of this job done now. I've just got to make that intake, get the throttle body, do those um, lines going to the intercooler there. And then at that point, I've basically just got to pull the heads off of this thing and fix me blown head gaskets. Um, I'm probably not going to film any of that stuff. I'm just going to go through, smash it all out because I want this thing to be going pretty quick. And uh, these videos can take a bit of time. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to go through, smash out all this work, and then in the next video, you should be able to hear this thing roar to life. So I won't waste any more time. I'm going to get into this thing. So I'll see you next time. Bye.